Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Please enjoy our channel. If you would, we'd appreciate it if you join our Patreon page. It's been a long, long road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name's Dan. I'm here in the Philippines on the island of Bohol. Sorry for that. Turn the monitor around so I see what I'm doing. I've got a beautiful piece of fat wood from our friend David Burkhalter in Florida. It is some exceptional fat wood. Exceptional. He also gave me a great big giant piece of it too. I'll take it out of the box and show you. Deserves showing because it's so impressive. Look at that. Can you believe the size of that piece? <laughs> I've never seen nothing like that before. How cool would it be to go to the woods and find a stump where you'd get some chunks like that out of it. I'm using a knife here. This is a Hibben 3. This was given to us by our friend Alex uh, all the way down in southern Texas. Thanks so much, Alex. And I modified the knife. It had a guard like this on the top going the other way. And I ground that off to give it more of a bushcraft feel so I could get my hand up on the, the thumb of my blade if I needed more control. Let's see if we can cut some fat one off of this. kind of trying to scrape it off real thin. <laughs> the, the deeper I go on it, the sharp, the shinier it gets. Just like a perfume coming off of it. You guys probably can't even see that. But. Just sticky. It sticks together like clay or something. Shavings of wax. Just pouring water on it from sweat. But water doesn't slow down fat wood, I can tell you that. I make fires in the rain with it. The only thing I know that's better than fat wood is rubber cement, which is a guaranteed fire, too. Oh, this is beautiful stuff. This side over here almost has bark on it, but just under the bark, it just that would it's nice stuff where I tell you thanks David I don't need a lot of this but that it's just, just sticky a sticky little pile Use the blade to scrape a little bit. Beautiful. This will be a one spark fire, one or two spark fires, I guarantee you. Just sticky. 
All right. We got a fire steel ferro rod here. Our friend Don Carr gave us. I need to use the back of the Pathfinder. I didn't bring back my striker. But actually, actually here, I don't even need that. How about I'll, today I'll do something different. I'll use a piece of quartzite as my striker. See if that'll work. Works as good as the back of a knife, doesn't it? Piece of steel or piece of stone. Not too many people would think of that. Instantly started. Thanks, David. Beautiful, dense fire. Look at that. Just roaring instantly. That's beautiful. And it's getting so nice for someone to send it to us after they saw that garbage I bought on Amazon from Mexico. They wanted to send me a piece of real fat wood and I appreciate it so much. Stuff's just beautiful. And the Hibbin 3 knife sure is nice. So, hashtag 22 a day no more. Let's help those vets out. Go out, have some fun. Watch your six really close, guys. Uh, know what's going on all around you, especially in the next couple months. The election's in a few days. So, when he wins, they say all hell is going to break out. So, be extra, extra careful where you're going, what you're doing, and where are you doing it. Thank you so much. Take care, be safe, and thanks for watching. Bye now. Thanks for watching. Take care.